Hello, and welcome to another episode of Philosophical Bones. Uh, I got Keith here with me today. What up, what up? I'm um, Nick, your MC. Question <laughs> question 11, right? Yeah, we're on uh, question 11 today. Hard Every time, man, I'm like, wow, we're at that point. <laughs> and the show is doing good. Yeah. I'm like really proud of you, dude. It's doing Thank good. You. It's doing I really good. enjoy doing this show a lot. And hopefully you listened to our last episode about uh, recognizing your faults mm. and... Uh, Oh, well, I, w- I was on that one in particular, and I, yeah. I really I love enjoyed that, that show. It, it, I really felt that that was probably the best, oh, yeah. one of the best things I ever recorded. Yeah, it was it was good. It, like I don't know how it took that turn. It, <laughs> it, just, it just did. So if you listen to that one, check it out. Yeah. Um, but today, the, uh, question number 11 is, what do you think the long-term effects of so many people being glued to their screens will be? My big thing in my mind is, okay, so way, the way I look at it mm-hmm. is, like, think about it like when you go out to dinner. Yeah. And like everybody's looking at their phones. Oh, yeah. You know, like when I remember being a teenager before smartphones were a thing, when you went out to dinner, you went to do something social, you were actually talking to each other. Mm-hmm. Now it's like, let's look at your Even phones. Even if you're out on a date, like you'll be, maybe you'll be on a date with someone and somebody mm-hmm. will be like looking at their screen. Right, right. And like uh, today, t- this morning is um, like I took my buddy Chad to breakfast. And this is actually not. Let me explain. Mm-hmm. I, took, I took my buddy Chad to breakfast, and I was like talking to him, on a, and he was on his phone most, yeah. most of the time. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, is he's looking for a job right now. Yeah. So I get that. Like yeah. he he's like utilizing that to look mm. for work. But like I took him to breakfast to like hang out with my buddy, mm-hmm. and and I realize why he was doing that. Yeah. But, but I was like halfway through my breakfast. Before he even like picked up his fork, well, I, got, I got a good question though. With, with that is uh, it, you know, it used to be considered rude to look at your phone when you're yeah, like yeah. talking with someone else, and nowadays it seems like maybe that's starting to be more accepted, which well, is kind of a terrible thing. Yeah, well, in particular with me, I kind of uh, when my buddies come over and to hang out, and we we're here to be together. Being on your phone kind of bugs me. It does. It kind of bugs me. I mean, it's like, why did you come over? You're like, you know, like, why? Why did you come over to hang out with me? If you're just gonna be like surfing Facebook or Instagram yeah. or, or Twitter or anything like that. It's like, mm-hmm. like, why did you take the time to come over? Be in the same area that I'm at. Yeah. To look at social media, mm-hmm. you know, and, and in the long run, like, in the long run, I feel like it's detrimental. Yeah. Because you're not. Um, I'm trying to phrase this perfectly, like it, when the whole world is going to be incorporated into like social media, mm-hmm. you're not really doing your own thing anymore. It's all about memes and trending vines and yeah. shit like that. Well, people are just so much more wrapped up in their online lives now. Yeah. It seems than their real lives. Yeah, like uh, in, in especially with like a younger generation who grew up with uh, you know, smartphones and the right. internet. You know, yeah. we didn't grow up with that. No, no. Like so it, we kind of have a different etiquette when it comes to that kind of thing. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I'm not trying to bash like people who are younger than us. We're in our mid 30s, but we're not trying to bash people who are in their like their 20s. But they just kind of grew up with that. Right. Well, that's all they know. Yeah. That's all I know. Like um, I saw, I hate to use this phrase, mm-hmm. but I saw a meme on this exact, you know, on the subject. I, I saw a meme that was a, it was a picture of a lamp post mm-hmm. and the sun going down mm-hmm. and the light coming on. And the the meme was, thus meant, get your ass home. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, like that. And what I'm getting at is like kids today, they don't go out and play. Mm-hmm. They don't go out and sit at home, play video games, watch uh, Netflix. Like w- when I was nine, ten. Not ele- to say that there aren't. Pro- I'm sure plenty of parents out there who tell their kids like go do that. But give them give them li- limited screen time. I think yeah. Is what they call it. Yeah. Well, nowadays too, you have thing. You actually have something on your phone now, which tells you the amount of screen time you're using. Like at least on like. Uh, on like my iPhone, it I, it shows me the amount of screen time, and, and oh, I'm using this for social media, or I'm using this for games, I'm using this for that, and it breaks that down every week. Yeah, yeah. And it's like oh, well, your usage was 22 percent down, or you, your usage was up five percent, and it's just like you kind of feel bad at doing that. So like, <laughs> God, I spent that many Damn hours it. on my phone this week. <laughs> Fuck. Well, like in particular, I actually had to uh, buy myself a new phone uh, this this uh, just two days ago because. The screen stopped working. Yeah. My dog got it wet. We'll just leave oh, it yeah. at that. But the thing is, is that it's why it sucks is because my whole life is actually centered around having mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. If I, because if I don't have, if I don't have contact with coworkers, you know, uh, being able to go onto Nerdy Bones and add stuff. Yeah. Like I, I have to have a phone. Yeah. Like I think I, we all do. I actually saw a stat, uh, I think it was yesterday that said 90% of people, of, 
or 90, I think it was 91% of adults. And this is from like a text, my textbook. And I don't, so I don't know how it could be a little older stat, but it said 91% of adults have, at least in the U S have cell phones. Yeah. Yeah. 91%. Yeah. And like uh, all of my banking stuff and credit card stuff oh, yeah. is, was every, your life is in your phone is, now. It's, it's kind of amazing how that worked out. Like, when I was growing up and my dad was like in control of the finances and stuff like that, mm-hmm. w- we had a landline. Oh yeah. Yeah. You had to balance your checkbook. By <laughs> yeah, hand. Exactly. Nowadays exactly. you just go on online banking. It's like, yeah. okay, that's how much I got. That's how much I spent and where I spent it. And what I, what I want to get into is how much I have to admit this, like how much I panicked over not having they being able to log into like my financial, mm-hmm. my financials. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, people from work being able to get hold of me because mm-hmm. I, I I'm when it comes to like Facebook Instagram I really don't care yeah I I like looking at it but whatever but the big thing with me is like oh okay, oh fuck I don't have my my automatic at the tip of my fingers looking at my finances mm-hmm. and uh, I again well, well, I can that, do it from the computer yeah but. well nowadays people just feel na- you know you go if you go out and I'm sure me and you can even attest to this now if you go out and you don't have your phone you feel naked yeah yeah. You know, you're like, oh, well, I don't have a way to waste time, maybe, or I can't, some, oh, maybe somebody will try to get a hold of me. When you, most of the time, it's like, no one's trying to get a hold of us. But still, it's like <laughs> that kind of like, oh, what's going on without this or that? Right. And I was like, because I remember around Thanksgiving, like my phone just like, I fucking up, updated my operating system and my, it killed my SIM card in my phone. So all of Thanksgiving, like, the, oh, only, way I, the only way I was able to use my phone was like, luckily I was able to get on like Facebook Messenger and or like, and, and like call my brother up and everything and talk to my grandmother and all that. But because I didn't have that for a day, it was just weird. <laughs> because yeah. I've gotten because I'm so used to it now. Yeah. Well, we we are so accustomed to having that honest to god supercomputer in our pocket all the time. Oh yeah. You know, think about that. Like when we were growing up, what we carry around right people now, got to uh, like the moon with less computing power. That's what I was getting at. They're saying yeah. what is it like? Uh, pretty much in a digital wrist watch, there's more computing power or yeah. something like that. Yeah, I, I heard it's like one tenth of a computing power of a smartphone is what they use to take a rocket to the oh, moon. Yeah. And the thing is, is that computing power took up a whole fucking room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like the big thing now, well, there's a law about that. Like every like two years, like computer power doubles or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Well, the big thing now is we, we're very unique in the age that we're at right now of, um, the amount of information that's available to oh, us. Oh yeah. Like think about, I think human knowledge doubles now, like every, like it used to be like every, like, you know, like in the middle ages, like every like five, like, you know, hundred years or 200 years. And then it mm-hmm. got to, and it just kept getting lower and yeah. lower. Now it's like we double human knowledge, like, you know, every like two days well, or something. Like the, uh, the analogy I want to make is the, uh, library of Alexandra. Mm-hmm. We have more than that in our phone right now. Oh yeah. You can, well go- nowadays it's like, you just say Google it. That's what I was getting at is like, you can Google anything that you want to know about. Yeah. But like when we were kids, you would have to go like say you wanted to what we're gonna do tonight. Mm-hmm. Say you wanted to know something about the samurai. Yeah, you would have to like go to the library, go to the library, grab it and pick it up and like find the actual yeah. book. And now you can just like go to Wikipedia. Yeah, and look at get... articles and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, but you know back in the day you had to physically do it yourself. Yeah, you could ask me any question right now and I could bring it up on my phone within a minute. Exactly. Which is cool. <laughs> it makes it does it definitely makes us a little lazier though. It, yeah. But it is nice being able to have that information because well, people can learn a lot faster now. Well, I like the way you said that because that makes knowledge faster. Mm. It might make teaching easier maybe. Mm. You know, because like I I guess now in school like uh, computers and tablets are a norm. Oh yeah. You know, I haven't been in school in 20 years. Yeah, somebody sitting in a classroom <laughs> with a with a laptop is just nothing now. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be now. Yeah, and like a lot of it's uh, you know, Kyle from uh from uh, Magpies, he's the one that actually taught me the phrase. I'm gonna use later. Mm-hmm. But uh, his whole thing is his wife is a teacher, mm-hmm. and she recently got a grant to buy all of her students' laptops. Yeah. And and the thing is, is those kids get to take those laptops home. Oh. Those are for them. How how, how old are they? Uh, I think it's. I think she teaches fourth grade. Okay, you know, how even fourth graders uh, getting? Yeah, wow. yeah. You know, though, the the one problem I've I've seen with that with computers in the classroom though, is and I've I've witnessed this being in a class, and this was like even like maybe like seven years ago, mm. taking a class, and then when you have that computer in front of you, a lot of times I'd be sitting in the back, like towards the back of the classroom, and I'd see people just on Facebook. Even then, mm. Facebook are going to read news and this, and I felt it was like so incredibly insulting. Insulting. And I remember actually, exactly. I was in a class just this past week or a week ago, 
And the professor was like, somebody asked, like, like, hey, can I, can I use my laptop in class to, like, take notes? And then he's like, eh. like, I've had I've had issues with that in the past where people just aren't paying attention. Mm -hmm. And one thing I noticed was a guy, it was a guy in front of me who had it out for maybe, like, 10, 15 minutes because he was registering it for, like, an online thing for the class. Mm -hmm. And it was actually distracting to me seeing oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? And I ha when I have been in a class where there are computers, it, it, like, you, because you're constantly looking around at other people's screens. So it is actually distracting to you. So interesting. Well, like, uh, and when it's like when, when you're sitting in a classroom, there's no screens out, and you're just listening to the teacher. You get, you know, you can absorb everything that, they're telling you. That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. To where it's like all eyes up here. Yeah. All eyes. And everybody's here. paying attention to that or yeah. to that to that person to your to your teacher. And when you have a computer screen in front of you, you're so tempted to just go on there like. Oh well, yeah, he's talking right now. But click, just, click, 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 I can click. just go and get on this and this and this. It's like, oh no, I'm reading an article about, or I'm, yeah. I'm doing something that's for school. It's like, no, you're not. You're just fucking bullshitting. Because, yeah, yeah. and it's amazing. It amazed me when I was in that classroom because I was like, I paid attention, and the other kids in there who were honestly, I was probably maybe around thirty then, mm. or I, I could have been even like mid to late twenties. I can't remember exactly, but even then, people who were like eighteen, twenty years old were mm -hmm. still doing that. Yeah. And, and it was just like you. And it's like you just don't have that respect. Luckily, too, one one thing you can do, I think the teachers can do now, is like they can turn off all the screens. We well, can turn the Wi-Fi off too. Well, they, well, I think they can just for the whole like classroom, they can just turn every single yeah, screen off. Yeah. So it's like, no, you have to pay attention to me. Yeah, look at me, look at me. Yeah. So like uh, the that, which may, which isn't definitely an obstacle in teaching nowadays. Yeah. Well, the, like the the one thing that I kind of want to get into because you were talking about school, mm -hmm. like uh, you. You know, we'll get into this like in, in Nerdy Bones when we do that tonight. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to find out a way to be studying criminology. And the, yeah. thing, the thing is, is I've actually, I've actually read a lot of stuff mm -hmm. on my own without being in school. Oh, yeah. Like being able to like find websites and read mm -hmm. stuff. So is that a detriment? Like, I, no, no, no. Like I am actually learning stuff. Yeah. yeah, because this is I have, you have to no take, you idea. You kind of have to take the good with the bad. Well, I have no idea how I'm going to use this in my future, mm -hmm. but like this is something that I want to have the knowledge of, yeah. and without screens, yeah, right now I wouldn't have the knowledge that I do. Well, I think I think the thing I just thought of was like it's really about how you allocate your screen time. Mm -hmm. That's the big thing nowadays. Yeah. Oh and, yeah, and yeah. I think uh, honestly, probably the lar a pretty large majority of people. I don't know the stat or anything, but. I'm sure that a large majority of the people who use their phones are a lot of times mainly using it to go on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm that's just at least like maybe it. like a third of their time, I'm guessing. Yeah. You know, and not all their time, but they're definitely like a good portion of, of their time, like a, a, a pretty highly divisible, you know, like, you know, a, a half or a third or a fourth. Yeah. That's still a large number. That's, you know, 25, 50% of your time. Yeah. Think about know, that. Think about that. 35% how... of your time is spent just looking at that stuff. Looking at Facebook but then, you know, posts and the who... time, then you got like, people who are on there to legit like oh i need to look something up to to learn this yeah. or i need to find someone or i need to do, I, need, I need to write an email for my job or maybe mm -hmm. you need to text someone back one of the one of the coolest things like through my uh through my online stuff lately is i uh, was looking at uh what i was just referring to mm -hmm. was uh, i was looking at the uh, the sociological diagnosis of psychosis huh really cool stuff yeah. really cool stuff you know, like so, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have knowledge, I wouldn't have access to that, mm. with you know, without like, like, because psychosis, I, I, I'm no, I'm no scholar mm -hmm. yet, yeah. yet, but yeah. like psych psychosis is a very, very um specific thing, like so if you like to start fires, that's a psych, that's a psychosis. Yeah. If you're a pedophile, that's a psychosis. So like you're, I, I'm learning this stuff, and mm -hmm. that, that's awesome. You know, what I mean, yeah. like. Like so, like a lot of the people that have like my crazy ass, my twisted ass interests mm -hmm. have several. You're probably on a list. <laughs> uh, I know I'm on a list, but a lot of the crazy ass people I'm interested in have a myriad of what you would call psychoses. Mm. So you know, like they're, they're. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a difference. Psychoses. That's not even something I would ever really think of. Uh, yeah. So you like to create? Let's just say, simply because I did, simply because I did the research and the show on Jeffrey Dahmer. He had several psychoses. Okay. And he was, I, I'm telling you right now, he was not a sadist. I got to call out the chick that was telling me that I was slating him as a sadist. No, <laughs> he was not a sadist. Yeah. But, uh, that's just like your opinion, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, uh, he, he had a series of psychoses, which he had, uh, like, uh, dominance, dominant, like, uh, dominant control is a psychoses. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, I'm not going to get into that, but, like the 
I wouldn't have that access to that knowledge yeah. w without uh, s the screen. So I think what I need to bring up really is, I mean, we're talking about kind of like the current effects of uh, being glued to your screen. But what are the long term effects, you think? Laziness, I think. I think you know, think about yeah. think about Wally. Mm. You know, like, like I think it'd be lazy. That is such a. I mean, that's an amazing movie for social commentary. Yeah, like, it really is. Yeah, because like yeah, I used to like I used to be a legit fucking long distance runner, and I I'm not anymore because it's so easy to like oh, yeah. be lazy and be home. And like, oh, oh let's oh. see what's on Instagram. Yeah. Let's, let's see what's on no, Facebook. No, I do the same thing. And actually, that's one thing we talked about last week was with our faults. And I'm trying to get past my laziness right now <laughs> for school, too, to go to school. Because it's like, it's something I really want to do and, and get through and get through as fast as yeah, possible so I can yeah. get into a field I'm, I will hopefully enjoy. But I'm just trying to get past that laziness. And that's yeah. actually something that, that, that the screens, like yeah, I'll go and like, for instance, I'll, a really good example for me is like YouTube and Netflix. Yeah. I get up in the morning. I put on YouTube first thing. Me too. I, I, I catch up on my news and, and maybe some other videos I'm watching, just something entertaining. But I actually find myself just going scrolling through things to try to find something to watch. And I, and I get, to, and I get to that point. That's not good. But I do notice myself doing that. And I get to that point where like, what am I doing? Let's stop. Why am I, like, yeah. when I stop and work on something productive that I need to work on, I caught myself doing Since it. As soon as you start fucking channel, yeah. quote unquote, channel surfing. I've caught myself doing it actually a couple days this week. And I'm like, I, I was like, no, just turn this shit off. Like, you yeah. know, there's nothing in, like, you're not in the mood to watch this or this or this. Why are you going to watch it? Just fucking turn that shit off and work on something, you know, do some work, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. towards something that's practical. Yeah, you're 100% right. Uh, <laughs> like, excuse me, <laughs> because there's a lot of times to where, like I'll get home from work and I'll sit down and I'll fucking just fuck around with the Roku controller. Mm -hmm. Let's find something. Yeah. Let's find let's let's go to Amazon. Let's go to Hulu. Let's go to Netflix. Mm -hmm. Let's go to like how about I go take my dog for a walk? Yeah. Why don't you, you know, work on some research? Uh, why don't I do some research? Yeah. But you know, just shit. It's like that screen that. it's the you know, it's the black mirror. Yeah, exactly. You know? We're we're addicted to the convenience of entertainment and anywhere. i don't think it's gonna in the future i mean i don't see it it's getting not gonna better. Get better it's no it, it seems like it's it's only getting worse over especially, time especially with vr and people notice it though nowadays people really notice the fact that we are just kind of killing ourselves with 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 media mm -hmm. yeah, um absolutely. whatever media that may be um you know i got i i want to say you know of course you talk about re like doing research and, mm -hmm. and looking up news and, and stories and trying to figure you know learn and that's that's one aspect that is, of course, is a really good thing we have now. Mm. You know, and if if we were able to devote more time to just that, it'd be awesome. Yeah. You know, with you know, of course, you need a little bit of social interaction. So I'm not I'm not trying to. I mean, and I want to say this again. I'm not trying to bash social media. I use it all the time. I'm on well, it. All we're the time. on social media right now. We use social media, but you know, that's just kind of the way it is. <laughs> a little tangled, tangled. I'm tangled. Um, but, Technical difficulties. But yeah, I only see it getting worse, mm -hmm. and that's actually something I think most people do fight with is yeah. is uh, that balance of real life and screen time. Right. Because when it's and, and I mean you actually want to get but one thing you want to get back to too with with script with uh, people being glued to their phones is they're just trying to escape their lives. It's escapism. Because honestly, like like when it comes to you know at least here in the U.S., it's just like. We need more of it, more escapism than ever, because mm -hmm. we're just not fulfilled in what we're doing in our real lives. Right. Yeah. So that's actually a very I, I want to I want to say that's a very good point to make when it comes to to people kind of overindulging, and yeah. being addicted to being on their uh, on their phones, on yeah. the, you know, on the TV, well, whatever like a, it may be, on video well, games. Well, I got to go back to like my phone not working. I had this like weird panic. I had this like weird ass panic of like not having my yeah. phone. We don't know what to do without them yeah. now. And and I'm as guilty of it as anybody. Like I my phone wasn't working and I was like, fuck, I can't do this, I can't do that. Mm. And you know, and when we when I was a teenager, I didn't have a fucking cell phone. Yeah. There was no Facebook. Yeah. There was the internet, but I didn't I didn't even have a computer. Yeah. And like so like growing up, like I knew, like, when I was a teenager, maybe, like, three out of ten people I knew had a computer. Mm -hmm. And that's not even saying that those three people even had the internet. Yeah. I mean, I, I was lucky with my dad. He, he We had a computer, really, honestly, from the time I was young. Like, you know, ten years old. Like, we had a computer in the house all. Like, we always had a computer. And we had the internet pretty early on, too. But uh, a lot of times, like, we wouldn't use it that often, honestly. Like, and when we we'd use it, it was just like it was more to like kind of get information about mm. oh I need I got this school project and you know, look something up, mm -hmm. 
but we wouldn't really use it for like you know there was no no real social media the only thing you really had was like chat rooms chat room aol chat rooms. yeah and i mean i used to use that shit i um, i did i remember getting the discs in the mail and like hanging out with my of buddy. course to find porn <laughs> porn i remember back in the day when you got like a porn picture it was a picture not a video and it took like 20 minutes just, oh, to, yeah. just to, to, to line by oh, yeah. line by line. Mm-hmm. And by the time you were done, like, oh, I'm so fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually, you make you bring a good point, which is uh, in a way, because we're using our screens are f- so much, maybe like our imaginations are kind of starting to disappear. Oh, I, would, I, would, I would have to agree with that. I would absolutely have to agree with that. Like mm. the individual creativity of somebody yeah. is really taken away because they can just like click and look at something. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm an artist myself, you know that, like yeah. I draw all the time, but like, uh, the thing is, is any, anymore, I am very guilty of like looking at the way somebody draw, drew something mm-hmm. and kind of like looking at it and studying it with my mind and mm-hmm. be like, oh, I like what they did mm-hmm. and I'll kind of copy that. Yeah. And in the past, I couldn't do that. Mm-hmm. In the past, it was like everything I drew was a hundred percent out of my brain. Yeah. Well, nowadays too, like people are using, um, you know, more technology to like create art I hate than that. ever before. I hate that. Yeah, I mean, well, that's just kind of the way we are. Yeah. We just kind of don't want to adopt that technology. We're like, we're setting our ways. Well, and, and not- you actually look at reading, for instance. I want, I want, one, I want to, part I want to bring up is like people use eBooks now, hmm. and well, those I'm, become very predominant. I'm a huge consumer of. A, and e-books. you can't actually fault and say that's a bad thing. I mean. Yeah. It's, well, it's, 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 you know, the, I think the point we're getting at really with, 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 uh, you know, people being on their screen so long is just, uh, you gotta take, it's, it's, a, it's a good, it's good in one aspect, it's bad in another aspect. It's a, it's a double, you know, it's a it's double edged sword. Yeah. Or, you know, a coin, a uh, two sided coin, two sided <laughs> coin. I thought, it was, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I want really want to think about like, what are the effects like in, you know, 50 years when pretty much everybody's used to being. Well, attached in, to this in fifty years, what, 100 a hundred years. You in know? fifty years, we're probably going to be in the matrix. Oh. There's going <laughs> there's going to be nothing but screens at yeah. that point. Well, you could even look at like Ready Player One, for instance. Exactly. You know, people actually like they decided to be more in a fantasy world, mm-hmm. which yeah. is kind of in a way what it's going to. People want to they, they want to escape their lives. Well, we're already almost like that. Yeah, and we're all, already almost like we, that. But we've always, I think, humanity's always just kind of done it. Even just look at books, for instance. Oh, good point. You know, good point. Not to say it's you know reading a book is a bad thing. It's well, not it's the by early. Ver- it's the early version of a screen. But it was yeah. But it was a it was in a, it was a way to escape from your life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely. I, I I really like that you phrased that that way, because like books literally were the original version of the internet. Yeah. R- the early version of like diving into something. But else. all of us need that kind of away time. Yes. It's just when you start to make I, it, I would call the, it a, like super predominant in your life. That's when you have an issue. Now you actually see places that do like uh, rehab for people with technology addictions. That's crazy. It's insane. That's crazy. And gaming addictions and everything. And you, that's starting to become more of a thing where people are so addicted to like social media and everything. Oh, that, that I literally had to rub my eyes. Yeah, for that. That there, like, there, <laughs> there's legit rehab for it. And it's only becoming more predominant. <laughs> that's craziness. You know, eventually, yeah, you'll see a lot. You know, in every city, eventually there'll probably be like a rehab for technology social media rehab yeah or, or, or gaming rehab yeah, yeah it's it's gonna happen it's it's i'm sure it's like it's it's only getting worse well you know you and i by no means i almost long for the know. days of like a like a you know a solar flare hitting the, uh the yeah. world and and uh and 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 technology is being that's wiped why, out by an emp that's why it'd be kind of shitty though at that point well that's wh- that's why i'm such a big uh uh, like Mad Max, uh, like prepper nerd. Yeah. Because I long for those days to where I, I don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. I don't have to worry about anything other than waking up, feeding myself, mm-hmm. having water, yeah. and getting through the day. Yeah. There's no computers. Well, it's funny. There's people, no getting people paychecks. People always long for an older time, though. We all do. We all do. Yeah, we all do. Absolutely. You know, I'm sure that there, I bet there'll be places out there if there aren't already where it's like, okay, you can't use any technology. Right. Wherever you go, or like, okay, you have to give away your phone for the next week if you're going to be here. How much would you? That's uh, why people go out into nature now so much. You know, much more never really is yeah. is uh, to get away from everything and yeah. actually really like, like live. Yeah. Well, I, I myself in particular grew up with a family of uh, hunters and outdoorsmen, mm-hmm. and like their whole thing is they actually get paid by the government to keep numbers down. Yeah. And I have an awesome story. 
later. <laughs> I have an okay. awesome story. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, going on that note, I have an awesome story later. Mm-hmm. But um, I I grew up in a family that they we were all outdoorsmen. We would camp for a month at a time, mm-hmm. shit like that. And then you think about it today, if I go camping, somebody's gonna have their phone on them. Everybody's gonna have a phone they on. They want to take a picture. They want to document. Yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. You know, you, you know, you, you go back, you know, even a hundred years or, or more with people with the advent of photography, mm. people still wanted to document their, their experiences. Well, what I was going to get at was the, in the back of your mind of how much battery does my phone have? Yeah, right? that's true. <laughs> you know, like that's, that's what I was going to get at is like, mm. hey, like any more when I go camping, oh, better turn my phone off. So well, it's like you're at the, if you go to the airport and they have like the charging stations and you see like 20 people sitting around a charging station. Exactly. It's, it's nuts. Exactly. Because people just can't be away and without their technology. Well, and I'm bummed. I mean, I, I will say, I'm, I bet a lot of people at the airport who are trying to charge their phone or, or work on their laptop are probably actually working. They're not going on, they're not like doing it to just like get on social media or mm, hopefully, I mean, hopefully I'm sure not. some of them are. But, hopefully not. But, but you know, it's like, I, like what I was getting at was like, Anytime I've been camping in like the last like ten years, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I gotta turn my phone off. Yeah, and like, and I'm happy turning my phone off. But the the double edged sword is I turn my phone off so the battery doesn't die. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's funny how we need we 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 use our phones as escapism, but then we need escapism to escape our phones. Uh, <laughs> to escape, to escape, escape these screens. <laughs> yeah, it is. Inter- yeah, that's an interesting point, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is, man. Yes, it is. So yeah, well, uh, just to get back to the long term effects. I mean, yeah, say a hundred years. Like, I think it makes us fat, lazy, uh, unskilled. You know, like mm. you know, think about like. I the, like the, uh, well, I don't know if I go unskilled just because I, I feel people I, are learning more than ever before. Because they're be able. To, can I elaborate? Uh, yeah. Go okay. Ahead. So what I mean by unskilled is like because. Uh, I'm I'm like super uh, like, I'm right. super one track mind yeah. about tonight. Uh like if you're behind your phone all the time, you're not training. Yeah. You're not exercising. You're not sharpening a skill mm. other than clicking a keyboard. Well, I thought it was uh they're socially unskilled. Well, that too. But what I I'm getting on the <laughs> mar- real life unskilled. I'm, get, I'm getting on the martial side okay. of it. Okay. Like okay, look okay, let me try to phrase this perfectly. Mm-hmm. Think about a person that sits behind a computer all day, yeah, and then a CrossFit guy, oh. and the two of them have to go into a competition for lifting weights. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh yeah, Do you get what I'm saying. Yeah, like that's uh, that's very broad about like, mm-hmm. the point that I'm trying to make. Yeah, but like in life, if all you do is sit behind a screen, mm. you're not going to be able to do anything. You're not going to be able to like w- let's say all the power goes out and you have to start farming. Mm. Unless all you were doing on the computer is researching farming, yeah, you're gonna be, gonna and be you're fun. gonna be forced to go find a book on it exactly. if you can find it. Exactly, that's a good point. Or find somebody that's been doing that shit already. But that's, I mean, that's just normal. Like, uh, just I want, I want to say, like, you look back at, like, you know, maybe just like two hundred years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, you wouldn't like even without all that technology, like you would have those people who were farmers and people who exactly. were running things. And exactly. He, so accountants and. Shit yeah, like so that. I mean, just because just because the technology would go out doesn't mean like. Well, th- it was just kind of a a very vague yeah. point that I was trying. Okay. To make. And like, unless you take time to experience life, mm-hmm. when you actually have to do it, you're yeah. gonna have a hard time. And we kind of make another inspirational episode. <laughs> we did it again. <laughs> we, did, we did it again. You mean to? We did it again. So like, what I'm getting at is like, okay, if you spend all your time behind a screen mm-hmm. with that ambient light in your in your eyeballs. Like yeah. uh, that's another problem. Actually, is the uh, is. the blue, like blue light. The blue lights. And it's now called. they actually have things like on your like, for they like have, your phone. They have, or, they have glasses you can or buy. their TVs where you can actually turn that or you can set it to turn off yeah. at a certain time because it's actually interrupting people's sleep patterns mm-hmm. now and people mm-hmm. aren't sleeping as well. Yeah, exactly. Because people will wake up and look at their phone mm-hmm. and it fucks with their circadian rhythm. Oh yeah. And you know that's like we're we're very human beings are very set on the circadian rhythm. Of, yeah. Like, cause we're not nocturnal at all. Yeah. Like we're like sun goes down, we bed down, we mm. are, we go into our sleep. It's kind of written in our DNA. Yeah, we go into our sleep cycle, and then we wake up when the sun comes up. Mm. You know, and the the screen fucks with that. Oh, we, definitely. <laughs> it really it fucks with me in particular. I know oh, yeah. I have personally experienced it. Yeah. And like, now the first thing we do too, actually, I think most people would say the first thing they do when they wake up is look at they check phone. their phone. Yep. Like, oh, do I get a message or do I get yeah. an email? And, you know. Well, like, my biggest issue is I usually fall asleep about 
10 to 10 30 mm. and then i wake up at like three in the morning and i can't go back to sleep yeah it and happens to me all, all the time the big thing is is like i'll wake up mm. walk around the house for a minute it's pick cool. up my phone yeah and pick it well man. i i got up at like 6 30 this morning out of nowhere and i was just like fuck like again and of course I, and when, I, when the way i used to get back to sleep oh. is i'll put on like youtube because mm-hmm. I, I honestly need to fall asleep with the tv on i can't sleep without and I can't I, it sleep took me till like it took me till like 10 o'clock like so like you know like what, like three hours later four hours later it was um until i was able to fall back asleep and then i only fell asleep for like a half an hour oh, yeah got a little power nap in but it's just it's do, yeah. you, do you know anything about it's it? distracting and i actually know when i'm putting on a certain video then i'm like oh i know i'm going to concentrate on this and i'm not gonna be able to fall asleep unless i really force myself to do you know anything about uh tinnitus yeah like i myself suffer from it hardcore mm-hmm. so this would be my addiction to not necessarily the screen yeah but uh, i podcast i yeah. cannot sleep without some kind of sound yeah i think that's actually most people nowadays yeah because or even like the white like you know white noise oh, generators it's called, and it sounds like this yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah so like white noise generators yeah, yeah, yeah. or like you know it used to be like whale sounds and mm-hmm. people well, need something late. i just saw a video from vice uh a couple days ago about a guy who does a podcast i forgot the name of it but he does like it's like a really boring podcast but he actually it like he's got like three million followers or something wow like that but it's it's honestly like a boring podcast, and he actually means it for people to like fall asleep to. That's awesome. Yeah, like uh, one of the big things I do without po- uh, podcasts aside, and it's it's really great because like I have so much about this tonight. Mm-hmm. I listen to a lot of uh, Zen Buddhism uh, chanting. Oh yeah, you know, like, and like, that's some dude. <laughs> like the, mm-hmm. like if, if that can't calm you yeah. and put you to sleep. You kind of need some medication. True, <laughs> you know, like, like that. They, they call it. Uh, they call it throat singing. Mm. It, it's well, the throat throat singing is actually more Mongolian. Yeah, but it's the same kind of thing. Do, do you do you know what I'm talking about? I do. Yeah. So, oh, sorry, sorry. I babbled no, no, there. No, no. I so, babbled there. Is there anything else you want to say about no, no. long term effects? No. You know, but yeah, I think uh, the laziness part is put, definitely the biggest. Put your put your phone down. Yeah. Suckers. Oh uh, yeah, I do think that's probably the biggest thing though. Yeah, it's just, it's just trying to, and it, it's it's it kind of sucks nowadays because I think everybody's susceptible to the fact that we're just well, like, I'm myself 100 on it so much, and so it's it's honestly making us a little lazier by I, like not really want like just wanting to be distracted. I don't want, but be, that could, but like I said, that goes into a whole social issue of mm-hmm. people being unsatisfied with their lives, and that's even a whole other topic. You know that trying trying to dilute what's going on with yourself you can name like a thousand different things that yeah. that's why and i'm not going to get that because i that gets political and i try not to be political <laughs> at all <laughs> so uh this has been a uh, question 11 of uh philosophical bones what do you think the long-term effects of so many people being glued to their screens will be car wrecks and i think we kind of got to <laughs> it we got i mean uh, this is a pretty long discussion um, yeah, that you can go a lot of different directions in. Yeah. And, you know, maybe even think about it yourself, you know, like, like, uh, I always say, I'm not going to say it yet, but I will, because that's a little tagline in the end. <laughs> but, um, you know, just think about yourself and maybe, um, maybe just try doing something a little different. If you feel you're a little unsatisfied with things, you know, mm. pick up a book, you know, instead of getting on your phone, I've been reading on social media. Lately. Yeah. Pick up a book. Books, right? are, books are good for your brain. Pick a book, uh, draw, write. You know, go to school. Take your take, dog for a take, walk. Take your dog. Yeah, actually, that's a good thing. Take your dog for a walk. Play with your kids. You got kids. You know, hang out with your uh, your wife, uh, husband, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, just I guess just try to get away from your screens. And I yeah. think I think it was, I, w- I, w- I wish I could say that I had any real place to yeah. like um, judge because mm-hmm. I'm just as bad as any American. Oh yeah. I, and so. I, w- I am too. I mean, I try to keep all, I really don't use my phone as much as I think a lot of people do, but that's just me. Yeah. Cause I just don't need to. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, but like I said, we can keep going on this for a long time, but we're going <laughs> to, we're going to go ahead and stop. And I want to say, I hope you enjoy this episode and yeah. I'm always looking Thanks, for guests. Guys. Yeah. I'm always looking for guests. If you want to come on, um, hit us up at nerdy bones, uh, cast at gmail.com. There you go. Instagram, fucking checking my phone while you're talking. Uh, Facebook. <laughs> Uh, you want to pose a question or you want to be a guest? I'm always looking for guests. So um, so this has been uh, Philosophical Bones, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. And in closing, I just want to say, keep thinking.